a couple of people have requested me to show them how to make a, a, a Minecraft um, texture pack folder and into an MC pack that you can later um, put in Minecraft. Uh, this is very simple, so this is just going to be a short tutorial video. You don't need any programs for this, but um, the programs that you can use are optional. You can just use um, Windows' own um, um, zip archive sender or whatever it's called by going um, on to send to um, after you've selected all and click on um, compress zip folder. There are also some zippers for mobile devices um, and any other device that you're using. I'm pretty sure there's also some zipping programs for um, an iPhone or something. Um, but uh, if you're on PC, um, you can use 7-zip, which I'm using right now, or WinRAR, um, which I will leave descriptions for in the description below. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to um, select all um, on the pack or on the um, folder, and you click on 7-zip. Um, I, I think it's called WinRAR 7-zip on WinRAR. I'm using 7-zip right now, so that's what it's going to be called. Uh, and you're going to click on Extract Files. Um, and you're gonna click on add to archive. Now that's gonna be the same for WinRAR. It's gonna also say add to archive. So just do that. Uh, it's gonna pop something up like this. It's gonna look different on WinRAR, but um, you're gonna do the same, um, which is you're gonna change this right here um, to MC pack. Boom. Or you can just leave this to zip. Let the, um, the program do its thing. Um, the, oh yeah, the, the reason why I use 7-zip, if I haven't mentioned this before, is because it's actually way faster than Windows themselves. Um, so that's why I use these programs. Otherwise, they're not that much better. Uh, after you have the uh, file um, turned into a zip, you're just going to click on Rename. And you're going to rename it to MC Pack, Just like that. Uh, and now, there is a glitch where sometimes it, it will not show this Minecraft logo. And just it will be like a file, like an empty file. Um, name like a white empty file and uh, that's that's usually it, it still works it's it's just a mistake in Minecraft uh, or in, in just um, your your uh, computer just not showing the icon because it's having a hard time finding it um, now something to note is that this only works if you have um, file name extensions turned on um, so how to, how to turn this on if you're if you're on home on like any place on your on your PC and you and you click on view. You're gonna click on um, file name extensions turn on. So um, I'm just gonna go back here. What you can see now is you can you can um, no longer see the uh, MC pack. You can only see that's that it's a launch Minecraft and import resource pack. So you can only assume that's an MC pack. But if you click on show the file name extensions, it's gonna show MC pack. Something I've seen people um do is what they've done is I'm gonna turn this off. Uh, let me just like zip this stuff. Uh, add to archive. Click on OK. Um, this has happened, and they just and they've just renamed this to dot mc pack, and nothing has worked. Um, this is what happened to me once um, because I wasn't aware you had to turn this on. So make sure that you have this 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 file name extensions on. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. After you've done that um, and you have like done all those steps, you can just double tap on the uh, on the thing and it's just gonna open minecraft and then it's gonna import the pack now if if the pack does not import if it says error or if it says could not import duplicate detect de detected um if it says duplicate you're gonna have to delete the th the, the the minecraft pack that you see that that is in um your minecraft um game so you just click on resource packs and or you can click on storage and then resource packs and then delete the same one if you're trying to update the pack um, because some packs use the same um, codec um, or the same UUID for every single one of their versions, so you're gonna have to update it, um, which is sometimes annoying. But um, if you're I if uh, it says just error, then it has probably it has to be something to do with the UUID. This right here is the UUID. If um, there's an error and it says like the um, like it could not parse or something, that means it's either um, e do you have an invalid UUID. Which I'm gonna leave a description below for a UUID generator. Um, I have no idea what this um, error message is, whatever. Um, sometimes what happens is that there's a space in between um, um, a, a quote and the start of the UUID, which should be gone, which happened once with a pack, which was annoying. Um, or sometimes it, um, it's, it's, it's uh, um, the quote just missing entirely. 
other error message could be that you're missing a comma somewhere else or they're missing another quote uh, there's a lot of error messages that can exist uh, but you can always check what error there is um, which i will show on screen how you can check what error it was um and that way you can also fix it way faster um but yeah that was the tutorial um and if you have any like issues or something um just tell me in the comments below so i can hopefully help you guys out but that was it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah have a great rest of your day bye